Hello friends and welcome. It is wonderful to have you here. I'm Morjax and today we are playing Mordheim City of the Damned with Braskus and I will put a link down in the description to uh, Braskus's channel. If you'd like to see uh, Mordheim, Vermintide, Soma, a whole bunch of other games, go check out Braskus's channel. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll get the match loaded up here. Okay, of course your speedy Skaven go first. Naturally. Let's see. You sneaky Actually, rascal. Here. Where do I want to put you? You should probably go not up there. Oh, this is a really long map. Yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting. So here's my here's my prediction with the, the league type situation. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, what I think will happen is, uh, of course, the every match is super bloody. And then what I think will happen is people will start getting closer and closer to their shipment dates and uh, get more and more panicked. And then the, the matches will become a little bit more contemplative where people will search around and try to avoid engagement for a little while just so they can search a little more. Try and get more of the resources in, yeah. Yep. Uh, sorry about that. I had another call coming in. Oh, no problem. Jeez. Okay, let's go right there. There can't be that much thinking to it. Must be tough being so popular. Well, it's it's uh, friends of mine wanting to play some Vermintide, which is freaking sweet, too. Oh, dude, you don't have to tell me. Pretty much anything that they stamp the Skaven into, I'm already immensely interested in playing. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Skaven I, have always been my favorites. They're pretty good. I got in on the tail end of uh, Left 4 Dead 2 with my friends, and, and it's it's definitely got that same... Uh, kind of flavor to it. Yep. In Very fact, a so. lot of the mechanics are almost carbon copied, which is, that's quite all right in my book. You have a favorite uh, class? Um, You know, I've been playing the, uh, whoever the, like, tall knight dude is. Um. Oh, the, the mercenary guy? Yeah. Or Empire Soldier, whatever his name is. Right, right. I tend to favor the elf. Okay. I managed to get my hands on a really sick bow that actually has homing shots. So oh I can just my fire gosh. in the vicinity and it'll hit him in the head. That sounds awesome. Do you have to aim or it just homes no matter what? Um, you need to aim a little bit, but as long as you're in like if you hold hold down on the long the iron sights, yep. um, then you'll they'll get surrounded by a red aura, and when you release the bow it'll fly off and hit him. Um, if you just fire rapid shots, they'll seek a little bit, but not quite as effectively. Okay. We should it's play that sometime too. For uh, dealing with the rat ogres, though, because the arrows will continually circle their head. Oh, it'll it just, keep searching. It's, it's like a tornado. It'll just zip around their head repeatedly until it starts finding marks. Wow, that sounds amazing. It's delightful. All righty then, Haskrit Wart. Love the names of these guys. I know. Where do I want you to go? Hmm. <laughs> you should probably head over this way. Yep, that'll work. You can hang out there. Oh, whoa, it's my turn. Yep. <laughs> do you ever do that where you're like, all right, all right. Oh, oh, it's me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Derp. I do that all the time when I'm playing in those NPC matches. Cause right, you're just... sitting there like, all right, all right. Oh, wait. Oh, and especially with the Skaven, you know, you take two turns and then you have to wait for six of their guys to go because their initiative is so much lower than yours. You start putzing around on your phone and then suddenly, oh my God, I'm halfway through my turn timer. Do you do turn timer, turn timer on um, computer matches? Well, not so much on computer matches, but... Uh still less for me to edit out if I don't forget that I'm playing the game. Yes. <clears throat> Your self-imposed turn timer. Yes. My internal clock will quit yelling at me. <laughs> this is going to take some getting used to again. I'm used to playing with a rank 3 warband and a guy who's level 5. Movement speed is somewhat higher. Yes, especially if, if it's Skaven. They uh, speed up quite quickly. Yes, they do. 
So I'm getting used to having, you know, only five points of movement instead of, say, seven or eight. Oh, I have a perfect place for you. Do you know if the movement range uh, per blue pill shows up in your character sheet? I think it does. Um, I believe so. Does anything affect that besides just leveling up? Um, or maybe the it's just range base. Or the number of, of blue pills? Movement range. Movement range, I believe, is partially due to your level, but it can also be affected by certain stats, maybe? And I know it's affected by different armors. Okay, yep. So I think if you're wearing heavier armor, it'll decrease the range of your movement. Or if you get some legs lopped off, that'll do it. Uh, yeah, that's the problem that I'm having on my other campaign with, uh, what's his name, Scrabak. Hmm. Not only did I forget that he had a peg leg, but I also forgot to take him out of his heavy armor, so he has a hell of a time getting anywhere. <laughs> I can just imagine, like, you're moving through the streets of Mordheim and you hear the slow, like, clunk, clunk. <laughs> with oh, the claws, too. Come. So it's sort of like, skitter, skitter, clunk, clunk, skitter, skitter, clunk, skitter, skitter, clunk. Those Skaven. He's my piracy rat. There you go. It's like right. Pirate Bay. Nah. I have a soft spot for puns. They're usually pretty terrible. I have absolutely no qualms with that, and I'm generally very guilty of the same pleasure. All right. Guilty I'm... of a guilty pleasure. There's a thought. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way to go, man. So I have to say, I'm shocked I haven't hit any traps. It's like my secret power. <laughs> is like uh, stepping yeah. on every dang trap. I started getting a lot better at identifying where potential traps were, and I can usually avoid them, but every now and then something horrible happens. That same game I was telling you about that went horribly wrong, where everybody just got destroyed. Yep. I That was the kind of game luck where not only did their leader fail his all-alone test, so I got some free attacks on him, both of them missed, he ran and ran over a trap that gave him a beneficial buff. <laughs> it just doesn't get much worse than that. So when people uh, mention good luck or bad luck in my comments, my, uh, my response is always, the only way to keep RNGesus happy is with regular sacrifices of fresh-baked croissant. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, it just works. I will have to try that. Maybe I can appease the RNG gods not to just destroy me the next time around. You gotta pay oh, your they dues. they seem to save it up, you know? I do fine for six, seven rounds in a row, and then absolutely. they just absolutely wreck me. It's all about stocking up that bad luck and getting it out of the way all at once. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Wow. I'm suddenly realizing just how long this map is. It is quite long. Some maps, like I play. Oh, jeez. What did I just say about traps? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. If there was a contest, like how many traps can you hit? I would. I would get first place by a long shot. <laughs> Let that one be one of the new optional objectives. <laughs> Locate get, get the majority of the traps. By traps, yeah. Trap finder. Uh, it's the new uh, achievement. So I, I played. Uh, it's actually coming out. Well, I, I mean, this episode's going to be coming out weird temporally with respect to this comment. But the one, the episode that's coming out this coming Friday, uh, me up against Big Mook was on the uh, Great Bridge. And that oh, map is incredibly one. short. It is super duper short. Oh. It seems <clears> like it's kind of long, but the spawn locations are actually quite close to each other. I would not have guessed that. So it was a, a very quick match for sure. But I won't spoil who won. Well, that's probably good. It's a secret. Although I suppose the only person you'd be giving it away to is me if his episode's going live before mine does. That's true. But I like to keep an air of mystery. I am totally fine with that. 
Besides, this way it won't be spoiled when I watch it. True. Too true, too true. <clears throat> All right. My archer's name is Radley. Radley? Oh, I remember that. He showed up. I remember Radley in uh, game night. Yes. Radley is a radical dude. Do I see any of you yet? Not that I can... I can't see any of you, tell. so I kind of doubt it. You should hang out right there. Actually, a fun trivia fact for all of the people watching. The name of my leader is the name of the guy who got ambushed and decimated in one round. I figured he needed to come back. Reanimated. Basically. Well, see, I was trying to tell all of the nice people out there who've been watching and supporting in the comments and whatnot that I appreciate them, and I did that by uh, inducting several of my subscribers' names in my warband. Yep, yep. And so one of them asked for the uh, name Ricket the Craven to be introduced. So I figured, sounds great, I've got an open spot, and I plugged him in there, and I added Ricket the Craven, and Ricket got just completely destroyed. And he's the guy who had, I think, both of his arms hacked off and wound up retiring one battle into the One campaign. match in. Jeez. That happened to, uh, I had a, a similarly named uh, Vor Darkblade. And I think it was like Vor's first or second match. He just got totally wrecked. Yep. So now I've got Vor Darkblade the second reincarnate. There you go. Yeah, I plan to have uh, Rickett's son... I'm not sure what his name's going to be yet, but he'll probably reappear. Step up to the plate? Yeah, take up his father's mantle. Good. Clean <clears throat> the blood off at first, though. Yeah, that'd be good. Although he's a Skaven, so maybe that's just, you know, bragging rights. He can say he did it himself. There you go. Although looking at these guys' costumes, his father's mantle's probably something of a burlap cloth. <laughs> right? That seems about par for the course for Skaven. Yep. They don't really seem to wear anything very nice. <laughs> you look at all the Sigmar guys in their glorious emblazoned armors and magnificent headdresses and mercenaries are about the same way. And then you've got my guys running around in what look like burlap sacks. <laughs> but hey, it doesn't bother them, it doesn't bother me. There you go. More the merrier, right? Yep. Man, this oh. map is tremendous. Found another trap, did you? Yeah, but it was a good one. They had mercy on me. This time. I love how you can zoom in up against a wall and, like, see into their skull. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, nice dentures there, buddy. Let's see. Well, hello there. Greetings. Oh, really? Up oh, there you are. Probably an archer, if I had to wager a guess. Maybe Radley? Oh, nope. Ah, so we're dealing with the Chaos guys. Ho, ho, ho. Fair enough. Radley included. Let's see. I think we had our eyes on the same wordstone pile. Yeah, I actually was kind of wondering where you were going to be heading, and I was looking at the map going, where would he be setting up shop? And then I saw the giant cluster of wordstone and kind of went, yep, I was a gambling man. Even though it's our first match, you know me like a book. Well, I know Mordheim like a book. Let's see. That's a tough call. Eh, I got more guys coming. I'll take that. <laughs> I love the <clears throat> abandon. Meh, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's usually what gets me in trouble, but oh well. Let's see. Okay, that's not a problem. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? You got it. Oh, you Fortune got 15 favors seconds on your timer here. Ah, no, that's fine. Okay. Just want to give you a heads up. I appreciate that. And... 90 seconds can sneak up on you when you're planning. Yes, it can. Let's see. 
Oh, I hate that you can't go to overview when you can see someone. Yeah, that'll work. Game is something good. Wow, wow. Tell me that you word stone. Hmm. Oh ho! Hello there. It's like a two-layer skaven cake. Ground Indeed. floor and first floor both. Or second floor. Whatever. <laughs> Having a hard time figuring out where exactly you are, though. Oh, you're straight across there. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> the Overwatch. Keep you guessing. Well, I mean, I saw you going to Overwatch, though. Well, I know. <laughs> See if I trigger it. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, trying to trigger the Overwatch? I was trying to not trigger the Overwatch. Well, <clears throat> objective completed then, I suppose. Mission accomplished. Uh-oh. Man, those warp guards are freaking beasts. Outright. I've got him standing just close enough that I'm not... There we go. I don't want that one. It's the only one he's going to grab, isn't it? Okay, well, screw that then. Uh, well, no, I'm not going to get there. Okay. Grab it. Nab it. Nab it and grab it. <clears throat> Okay, let me think. Let me think. Excuse me, Radley. Ah. Radley, Radley, Radley. Excuse me. Time for the uh, hero to come into play. Yeah, we're going to see how that works. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Nice and surprised. I, for one, am surprised. I think that's like a minus something to... Oh! I'm going to be weeping poison next turn. Yep, that's the plan. A lot of it. Ow. Womp. <sighs> that's the worrisome part for me against the chaos, guys. Ow. Yay. Nuts. You hit the bridge. Just no, just just let me sneak in there, okay? <laughs> just I want the sneak. Okay, here's what we're doing. Uh, I don't trust that. Here we go. Oh. Two hander weapons of destruction. Yep. And that's the only problem with the Skaven. Oh, crap. He's going to go down in a hurry Sneakity, here. Sneakity, sneak, sneak, sneak. Ha! There it is. Nuts. Ah, well, okay. I was asking for it. <clears throat> um, and I'm out of movement there. Now comes the Skaven washing over me. Well, that's the hope. Hmm. I just need to last until the back end of the initiative ladder. You've got so many guys in a row. Yeah. Oh, 36. Super surprised. Did you see the surprised look on my face? Well, that's what the daggers are for. Although with that mask, it's hard to tell because they just kind of all look surprised. They do. We're supremely happy. I'm not sure which. A little bit of both, really. If I know anything about possessed. Uh, where's that Sneech's curse when I need it? Uh-oh. Yeah. Oof. Youch. The only trick is he's kind of squishy. Well, I'll have to see if I can capitalize on that. It's so maybe not the best choice to stick my leader out there like that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little more respectable. 
All right, now normally I would probably have you continue doing that, but in this case... Oh ho, the fighting claws. Yep. I don't like where this is going. Hang in there, Sharpedin. Sharpedin. Let's see what Radley can do. Um, what can what can Radley do? That is an excellent question. Come on, Radley, time to prove your radicalness. He's a radical dude. He's I a really radical. I want him to be like the mascot of your team, and he just spouts off <laughs> '80s one-liners. Go, Radley, go! Totally tubular shot, dude. <laughs> There's the tubular. Oh, yep. Reload, Radley. And, uh... I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll stay here. I will perceive. Run away! I wish to observe my surroundings. Oh, yes, I see. Quite a lot of rats. <laughs> Just over there, beyond there that seem, There seem to be Skaven in the vicinity. Huh. Well, I'm not getting in after him. That's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Guess I can focus on you. Ugh. These guys are just obnoxiously beefy. <clears throat> um. Both the um these Dark Souls that I've gotten the uh, uh, Warp Guard are really quite beefy for uh, for Henchy Man. Yeah, they're not bad. Okay, how do I want to do this? Man, this is getting to be kind of a cluster. Yes, it is. Um, I'm not sure if I'm happy about that or not. <clears throat> oh, crit. Oh, crit stun. Wow. That was a that roll I needed. Not ideal. <clears throat> and we will do that. And with two more of the big guys coming up, that could spell real trouble for me. Uh, I want to see how things shake out here. We're going to try it. Oh, he's so close. Wow, way to hang in there, little dude. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really impressive. Every now and then, those vermin can show me, remind me why I like them. Um, what do I want to do? Ooh, those odds are pretty bad. I'm just going to go for the normal, the normal yeah. sauce. Yep. And I'm officially in trouble. <clears throat> All right. Round five? Yep. There it is. Well, good game, Braskus. Yeah. We'll do better next time, I'm sure. <clears throat> yes. All the same. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, friends, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode with Braskus. Go ahead and check out his channel. And uh, if you haven't already, you can see his side of the match uh, over at his channel. I'm going to put the link to his video down there as well. We will see you next time for more Mordheim City of the Damned. All right, let's get the injuries going here. Well, my leader has suffered cost of defeat, but he's got a fortunate return and a full recovery. Nice. Good Despite roll. Despite dropping Good roll. immediately, he's totally fine. Too experienced for surviving the mission. It's like uh, when you play basketball and, you, and you, they just nick your elbow and you throw yourself on the ground, or even with soccer, too. Yeah. It's like, oh. And my hero, who also fortunate return... Uh, although he did suffer a burst eardrum. So really? Perception, yep, perception checks made suffer a minus 25% penalty. But if that's all, I'm that's happy like with it. That's like the best injury ever. Yep, burst I eardrum. I never do perception. Maybe that's why I hit all the traps. <laughs> Other than that, all my guys came through squeaky clean. Uh, right on. Looks like one of my guys got a physical advancement point. And that's pretty much it for me. I got uh, some ex experience across the board and apparently opened a new henchman slot. Oh, you must hit a Warband rank one then. I did, I did.